at your factory when materials cause blockage in your tanks? Do you do things like this? Beating on the equipment to dislodge the blocked materials from the tank? Or poking them with a long stick in a futile attempt? These actions are extremely dangerous to workers and often lead to accidents. And of course, they cause equipment to break down. The powders and granules used in factories are the demons. You can't see the blockages from outside the equipment, but all kinds of problems are happening within tanks. There are four main types of blockage. Bridging is when deposits become attached to walls or compacted in the area around a tank's hole and block the flow of materials from above. This can happen easily in tanks with small holes, so the blockage will become worse if vibration or other means are applied. Arching is a type of blockage in which deposits become condensed in the middle of the tank and form an arch-like shape. This type is called rat holing because the hole resembles one that a wild mouse would make. This occurs when inserted materials only flow through a narrow tube-like opening within the tank. The area around this opening is clogged from top to bottom. As a result, only newly inserted materials leave the tank and older ones remain within for a long time. This causes both safety and health problems. In some cases, deposits become attached to tank walls. With materials that tend to change with differences in temperature and humidity, they form larger deposits over time or otherwise collect within the tank. These problems cannot be solved by beating the equipment. And because each piece of equipment is manufactured using each maker's exclusive technologies, the users are left to find their own solutions. XN provides equipment to solve a variety of blockage problems. Our track record is proven through use in many plants. Let us introduce some of the devices that are ideal for solving and preventing blockage. With this equipment, there are devices to eliminate many types of blockage. This small device is attached to a miniature tank. Take a look at its strength. First, the mini blaster. With an explosive blast of air, the problem is easily solved. Compressed air is blasted into the tank instantly using a unique piston that moves via a solenoid valve. Because it uses compressed air, it's safe and gets the job done with low operational costs. It's also durable and easy to maintain. We offer a wide variety of blasters. To meet the needs of your plant, sizes range from large to palm size and types include this twin blaster. Next, the Relay Knocker. With the unique Relay Knocker, a piston powerfully strikes the base or walls of the tank using the force of compressed air. And this force removes adhesions and blockages. It can also be used exclusively for air supply, making it excellent in terms of safety and economy. We offer models that deliver just the right amount of force for the equipment to which they are installed. This is a small piston vibrator that eliminates blockage using the up-down motion of its piston.
It consumes little air and is oil-free, making it environmentally friendly. Attachment is easy, using just one bolt. A wide array of additional models are available. Please feel free to contact.